Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the new video. I uh, hope everyone's safe, keeping well. Um, today's topic is ammonia um, and ammonia toxicity and I'm really, really excited about this topic. Um, I'm not exaggerating when I say it's an absolute game changer. Once you understand how, how toxicity of ammonia works in the koi pond environment, it is a game changer. Um, so please do stick with it. I promise you will be uh, uh, glad you did. Okay, so um, I think we all know ammonia uh, is produced by koi um, a, a lot. They produce a lot of koi. Um, to put into just a little bit of perspective, a two pound in weight, koi, produces around 750 milligrams of ammonia per day. Um, so a significant amount. Um, I'm going to start, at the beginning I'm going to make a statement, um, this will seem like a, re a really bit strange statement, but I'm, I will go on to then qualify it and tell you why, why the statement's correct, and then I'll go on to tell you how you can circumvent that problem and make you know make good good of it okay so the statement is this um, the koi pond test kits that we all use um, be it you know JBL NT labs the column ball one that I, I use in particular um, they measure ammonia the number the measure that they give you of your ammonia in your koi pond the, the, the figure you get when you look at the color chart and it you, you translate it across to a number. That number on its own means absolutely nothing. It is completely useless. Okay. So, just again, the koi pond test kit, the, the result that you get from it is completely useless on its own. It means absolutely nothing. Okay, so, ammonia. Um, Ammonia exists in our in our ponds, um, and it and it exists in two forms. It exists as ionised ammonia, um, and it exists as free ammonia. Now, the ionised ammonia is not an issue, not a problem, um, and it tends to make up the bulk of the the ammonia. Um, the free ammonia, this is the problem. Um, the free ammonia is the part that's toxic to your fish, and it's toxic at levels above. 0.02 milligrams per litre so very very low amounts um, very very small amounts very small concentrations are toxic to your koi <laughs> the test kit that we all use is a very simple kit and it measures total ammonia okay so it measures the free ammonia plus the ionized ammonia and it lumps them together and it gives you the total of those two so if you're uh, very simplistic, um, if you've got one free ammonia, you've got two ionised ammonia, basically you, your test kit lumps that together and it says your ammonia is three. Okay, so that's where we're at. Um, so now where it gets more difficult, the amount, the percentage of that total that is free and the percentage that subsequently is, is ionized changes all the time. It constantly changes in every pond. It changes the two main things that influence the, the ratio of, of free to ionized ammonia. Excuse me. Uh, are pH, that's the biggie, and also temperature to a lesser degree. Um, and so this is why I say to you, the number that your test kit reads, if your test kit says you've got one milligram per litre of ammonia, that is one milligram a litre of total ammonia. But you don't know how much of that one milligram is free and how much is ionised. Um, okay, uh, so I'll tell you how now you can tell how much is free and how much is ionised uh, and, and make that number actually useful to you. Uh, sorry, I'm uh, just as well... Some test kits read in ppm, some read in milligrams per litre. Um, essentially the same thing. Um, so the two are interchangeable. So if I say one milligram per litre, one, milli one ppm is the same. Um, okay, so the, the impact of these things, the, the, these variables of temperature and pH. Uh, if we assume your temperature in your pond is 10 degrees, and we assume your pH 
is 7.5 okay at that level your total ammonia as measured by your test kit can go up to 3.39 milligrams per litre before the free ammonia gets above 0.02 okay so I'll just say that again at 10 degrees and 7.5 pH you can get a reading on your test kit of 3.39 milligrams per litre before it becomes a problem okay if we keep the keep the pH the same 7.5 but we increase the temperature to 20 degrees okay this will show you the impact temperature has at 7.5 pH and 20 degrees you can now go up to 1.61 milligrams per litre okay so you can see that by going from 10 degrees to 20 degrees you can now only have half as much ammonia as measured by your test kit before the free ammonia reaches a level that is toxic to your fish okay now if we assume we stick at 20 degrees okay but we now reduce uh, sorry we now increase the ph and this is a big increase but we go from 7.5 ph to 8.5 ph so if you remember we, we said we can go up to 1.61 when the ph is 7.5 now the ph with a ph of 8.5 we can only go up to 0 0.18 milligrams per liter as read by your test kit before the free ammonia is it's a level that is toxic to your fish so you can see pH has a massive massive impact on 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 um, how much of that ammonia exists as, as as toxic free ammonia so if you run a high pH then the impact of 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 that ammonia is much much bigger um, and then just to just to complete the circle if we stick with 8.5 pH but we drop the temperature back down to 10 degrees um, we, we can now have a reading of 0 0.36 milligrams per litre of ammonia before the free ammonia becomes toxic. Okay, so I know it's a lot to take in. Um, yeah, I, I've, I have a chart. Um, the figures came from a gentleman called Sid Mitchell who, who goes by the name of Manky Sankey. He has a really good website if you want to check him out. Um, really good chemistry uh, knowledge. Um, that I've got the figures from his site. He's used um, a scientific study, for, you know. Um, well, yeah, please do do check him out. But I'll put that chart up on the screen at, um, at the end of the video, and you can pause it or, or take a screenshot or whatever. I, I I really recommend you print it out. I have one um, on the wall in the filter shed, so you can see it all the time. And basically, you you read down the side, you find your pH level obviously you need to measure your pH you read across to the temperature of your pond and the number it gives you is what your ammonia can go up to before it becomes toxic to your fish uh, and as I've just shown it there is a massive massive difference so and this is why if I go back to the statements I made at the beginning um, the reading on its own that your test kit gives you if it if it tells you it's at 0.5 milligrams per litre it means absolutely nothing because it could be that you you could go up to three before it's a problem, or it could be that that level is already toxic. And without knowing your pH and your temperature, you you, you, you don't know. Um, and in the real, in terms of the real world, why I say this is a game changer. I, I recently started up this pond, um, small, with a, an easy pod, um, and because I I knew my pH was 7.5, which is, is great. Uh, you know it was in the summer temperatures 16 17 18 degrees um, I knew that I could go up to very high levels on the test kit of ammonia without it being a problem um, and basically I put fishing on Tuesday I uh, started feeding on the Wednesday I fed three or four times a day growth food every single day I didn't miss a day um, virtually no pond no new pond syndrome what I did do I, I, I added uh, Evolution Aquas Pure Plus Gel every two or three days but that was it I fed right through my ammonia came up and up and up over a couple of weeks it peaked at about 1.2 and then it leveled off for about a week and then it slowly came down and I fed right through now if you imagine 
kind of the old school thought was if your test kit reads 0.5 it's too high you need to you need to stop feeding you know that process it can take months if you stop feeding you um you you uh you know you do loads of water changes you're setting that process back all the time but when you know if you know properly what level of ammonia is toxic you can just you know assuming you, you know you, you can have confidence in the in the readings and you can as i did feed right through obviously as the ammonia started to come down i run into nitrate and that's nitrate sorry and that's another video but um in terms of ammonia once you understand how the toxicity works um it really is a game changer um okay th thank you as always for watching uh i hope that was useful I, I, and i suspect that if you're still here at this point it will have been useful it really is good good stuff to know um please uh do subscribe um there'll be more videos uh regularly uh hit, hit the icon as well to uh to receive notifications please leave a comment um uh, and please like the video, uh, it does help uh, massively. Thank you.